Um, I only I would like to respond a bit to that. It is, as Rocky said, developers don't want to go up steep slopes. It's not an efficient economical operation. But a lot of us have experienced the rolling hill type terrain in Knox County that ends up getting flattened with field dirt because it's uh, it's more there, there's a, there's they're better able to increase their density if they if they flatten those hills out. So I would have some exception to that. If we could get people to agree to the, to what you propose voluntarily, we wouldn't need to be here. So that's a that's a point of concern. Excuse me, are they in the afternoon in the Lark Assembly Room for the city council? Okay, my problem is I have a job. <laughs> <laughs> Notice the meetings I actually work, and I don't sit at home and take your money and say, hey, you know, I got stuff. So I can't go. I just can't go. Why do they not be later? Well, I mean, I'm in retail. We're out at 9 o'clock, so people work today and I'm shopping. I don't know why some of these things cannot be held like from 6 to 9 or something like that. Sure some of us can attend because five days ahead of time, I cannot stop work. You know, so the thing is, why? Well, yes, you can say we had this meeting, and like I said, for the science thing in there, you can't necessarily rearrange your schedule to attend these things. So whether you were against or not, unless you're a stay at home mom or retired, you cannot attend these meetings if you have a real job. Okay, now we are getting close to closing time, and I don't know how hard and fast that is, Liz. Okay, check with them, but it is 8 o'clock. This is Mike Brown, Commissioner from South Knoxville, County Commissioner from South Knoxville. We have two more people on the list, Larry Barton and Carolyn Greenwood. We're likely to try to get those folks in. Go ahead, Mark. Thank you. Uh, you guys have done a great job, and I'll be very pleased with that. I'd just like for you all to know that this really is one part of a puzzle in this county. It's, it's one problem. Uh, you heard mention a lot of stormwater. There's a lot of things that we have some committees that are working on right now and getting ready to work on that have to all dovetail together to make this whole thing work. One of these projects can't work by itself. The bonds that were mentioned earlier, they are required. Put up the bond. The problem is, we've been very lax in enforcing some of the penalties and bonds. Uh, some of the penalties up until now have been what we would consider a slap on the wrist. And all of the uh, shady developer does is, uh, I'll say that until we have some good ones in the room, <laughs> is they tag me and that in to the price of doing. Job and pass it on down the line. They pay the pay the fine and go on, you know, with a slap on the wrist. So there, there are, there is a little underway, folks. Believe me, and it, they, these things can't be done overnight. But we are trying to work on some of these. And as I said, they all have to come together. And when we get it all working together, each one of these is going to help the other. So that's all I'm going to say. We are working on some of these things. Thank you, Mike. Larry Bart. <coughs> right here. Um, Mike's more of a comment. So. One is to consider with 20 foot roadways, uh, considering some kind of restriction on parking on the roadways, because I live in a subdivision with a very narrow roadway. You park your car, I've worked in the past in emergency response, and when you're trying to get a truck, especially if it's a trailer, down through there, now you can't respond to an emergency. It could be medical, whatever it is. So, if you're going to narrow the roadway, you need to really consider some kind of parking ordinance so that we don't, so that we can get the emergency response vehicles there in a timely manner. The grade is irrelevant. It's the width of the road and the clearance to get through. So it's something I'd just like you to consider. Also, as an encouragement to this, anybody, I live out in the Barton Valley area. If you drive through there, you can see all the hills that are shaded now and uh, nothing's on them. They're just sitting there. Yep. Thank you, thank you, Mr. Gordon. Carolyn Green. Um, I just think that there's a couple things. We need to enforce what's on the books already so we don't all have to go to the meetings. I can't go to the meetings either. I have a job. I'm trying to raise the kids. You know, nobody's got time for all that. I, I, I'm lucky to read my email every two days. So I don't have time to be checking in with this website all the time. 
So if we, if we could trust our officials uh, to do their job for us, and to see things like a water tower and say, you know, there's probably going to be some opposition to that if they knew about this, and then help us out with that so we don't have to be there all the time. That be our watchdog for us. Um, the other thing is uh, we need to enforce things like the bonds. Um, we need to, uh, that, but that's kind of on the, the back end of it. We also need to control, we need regulations like what you guys are looking at because we have to control on the front end how development is done. Uh, I'm a member of the Beaver Creek Watershed Association and I'm not here to speak for them today, but I know that we have a problem here in the Beaver Creek Watershed with sediment. That's the main reason that Beaver Creek is an impaired creek. We're not going to solve that problem by building on a hillside. We're going to make it 10 times worse. So I know, and, and the developers will do what they can, but those fences are going to fall down. And, and I, the other night at Carnes, I heard the developers say, you know, when we're moving that much dirt around, there's only so much we can do. Well, to me, that means that you shouldn't be building up there in the first place. We're going to just have to stop that. So we do need to be more proactive. I like some of what uh, Arthur said about, uh, I don't know Arthur, but, uh, Oh, there you go. Uh, about density, I actually um, agree to a certain amount that we ought to have density maybe in the lower land, but it better be a low impact development type density so that we can not just have more paved over land and cause more problems with the stormwater and the sediment problems. So that's all. Thanks. Okay, thank you. We're running. Yeah, we're past. We've got to wrap up now. It gave us a few more minutes, but we do need to get out. Thank you, everybody. So, uh, thank you. This is a good segue for Laura Cole. The next task force will be the stormwater task force. <laughs> 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 <laughs>